Extreme Talent 37 Reverse 1999. Let's check this. What's up, X? Oh, just another day of being X, having booby traps or just whatever that is. The storm brings frequent anomalies and also more development and field missions. Sadly, mm -hmm. combat is not my thing. Luckily, data analysis... Sadly, combat is not my thing. It's not like I chase monsters with two stones revolving around each other, pour a steamy hot tea on them, and also make sure that they get smashed by boulders being released by a booby trap that I knock over. Yeah, combat isn't my thing. I don't do any of that. This is here. I'll walk you through the abilities of every arcanist. Please, Miss Tyler. Right. 4 f 4 b Okay. 37. As you heard, her name is a number. Everything in her world can be interpreted into numbers and geometry. That building is a circle. Her companions are integers. Well, she does have some number friends, given that this is a Pyrrhon. She strictly yeah. follows the abstract law of nature. Wait, and wait, wait. Becomes an idiot What's the difference between an integer and a number? I forgot. Oh yeah, integer is basically... Whole numbers are, are regular numbers. Integers are more like... If it's like a negative number or something like that. Uh, integer is a negative or a positive number. I guess regular numbers that they're talking about... Like, I guess they're talking about two different groups. Wait, how it, an integer is, is a specified number? Why are you guys talking like integers and, and numbers are totally different things? In her daily life, she insists on crossing the marshes and the woods because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And her own criterion for a pulse is the furniture's geometrical feature. Curtain? <laughs> Haven't you realized? This is a serious abuse of rectangles. <laughs> what? Is only a math problem to be solved. Here is her demonstration. After her insight one, 37's inheritance, calculation of Genesis, will inflict a stack of Eureka on her. Every incantation she casts and allies extra action will add a stack of Eureka. When there are five stacks, she will spend them all to release supplementary formula, which will deal mental damage and genesis damage to all enemies. Oh. If her allies incantations have extra actions, 37 will release supplementary formula sooner. Ooh. Triangulation deals mental damage with additional genesis damage. Curve mapping deals mental damage to two enemies with additional genesis damage and inflicts a stack of sturdiness on herself to improve her survivability. Oh. Her ultimate result, through a perfect calculation, inflicts numeral perception on all allies to increase allies' attack. Meanwhile, she receives a stack of Eureka and an extra buff of enlightenment. Which significantly increases her genesis So basic, damage. yeah, when she's she basically a buff three, DPS. Uh, she's a buff for and a DPS. Critical rate, but also critical genesis damage dealt. This is what you can do after you penetrate the essence of math. It requires perfect calculation skills and knowledge of the golden ratio. Laplace also depends the on the golden ratio. Numbers. That's why this comes in handy. Huh? Mr. Mathematics Examinator. That's in a fucking frog. The staff's math ability, he gives random tests to people passing him. And the score will decide your total credits and ranking. Passing him by like walking by or passing him as in taking his test. Laplace staff detected. X. Examination starts. Solve problems within limited time. Uh... I always ask Mr. Mathematics Helper for assistance. Time out. X relegated. What? 4561737960651737960. Easy peasy. 
Lab lab staff detected. John Tyler. Examination starts. Solve problems within limited time. <laughs> you never know how many hidden talents are there in Laplace. I think you would just prove that you're dumb when it comes down to that type of math. But that doesn't mean you're dumb to other types of math. So don't get dumb, X. <sighs> that is, I guess, a rundown on 37.